No. You can't keep your little poker thing in my locker. It's a foil. Bro, you always put stuff in my locker. No. Oh, please. Don't beg. You know I can't deal with it when you beg. I'm not begging. I just don't see why I can't keep it in here. Well, my fencing class is right over there. Don't make that face. You're making that face. Sure, you can keep your little foil thing in my locker. But don't get all cozy in here. Thanks, Joe. Hi, Joe. Bye, Joe. Bye, Joe. Oh, you have the cutest little girlfriend. <laughs> That's not my girlfriend. Do you need something? Yeah, I need you to turn on your cell phone. Hacksaw's been trying to call you all morning. How do you know? Because he called and told me to tell you to turn on your phone. And that we have an interview with... With? Tyree D at K-Hype 93.6 FM. I love his show. And I love him. Excuse me. Oh, she is so cute. Hey, Ro. Mix it like gumbo, the Romeo show Competition I crumble, I mean I can't be stopped I will not quit, cause me and the man make straight up fit So adi adi yo, adi adi ro It's time for the Romeo show Where kids have fun, education gets some Peer pressure ain't nothing, real life outcome okay. Tyree will interview you guys on Friday after school And it'll air on this evening show on Saturday night I cannot believe I get to meet Tyree D. He is so dreamy. Yeah, I guess that's why he's number one. Listen, the only advice I have for you guys is just to be yourselves, all right? Hey, Gary, turn it up. That was Francine Keys with Can't Wait to Say Goodbye. This is Tyree D on K-Hype 93.6 FM. Ah, uh, dreamy, I tell you. Dreamy. <laughs> What am I going to wear? Wear a snowsuit. It's radio. Hey, now. This Saturday night, I'm going to get up close and personal with a hot new group from Seattle, The Romeo Show. That's this oh, Saturday God. at 8. <laughs> I want you to spend the night with me, Tyree D, and The Romeo Show. Oh, man. <laughs> That's us. We did it, Hacksaw. Yes. Yeah. 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 You're going to be on the radio. <laughs> dressed up am i too dressed up well if you're gonna go milk a cow you should probably tone it down a little bit but you look nice nice great you don't want to look nice no i have to look perfect we got our interview with tyree d today and i can't figure out what to wear oh tell you what me closet is your closet really <laughs> No, it's mine. How do you know? Dude, you know I take my feet seriously. I always leave a nice, cushy white pair on Fridays to get the weekend off to a nice start. I'm telling you, these are mine. Look, flip it inside out. Property of Louis T. You label your socks? Well, look, a look at the scoreboard reveals me too. And you... Zip. Man, if your girlfriend knew you were a raging sock stealer, I don't know how she'd take that. Girlfriend? Peyton? What is with you and everyone? Peyton's not my girlfriend. Okay, let's get something real clear. Peyton is your girlfriend. I mean, who do you hang out with every day after school? Peyton. So? Uh, and who do you eat in the cafeteria with every day? Peyton. Sometimes. I ate with you last week, remember? Sure. Peyton had a dentist appointment. Now, do you two talk on the phone pretty much every night? Mm-hmm, whatever you say. <clears throat> Excuse me. I, uh, I, I didn't hear that. Yes. Okay, so here are the facts. 
You eat with her, you hang out with her, and you talk on the phone with her. Daily. Last time I checked, that sort of meant she was your girlfriend. Oh, and it's not just me. The whole school knows, too. Really? Congratulations. It's great. Now, that was real popular a while back, right? A while back, yeah, back last spring. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll probably get to work soon. What? What is it? I love it. I know. It's a Sergio Giorgini. Although, I don't know if that's what you're looking for. Why? Well, because you said you wanted something hip and yet comfortable, and I don't know how comfortable you're going to feel with something that costs four thousand dollars. Ow. Four thousand dollars? Yeah. I've only worn it twice. <sighs> but look, here. This is a good one. Let's try to copy the same idea. Shirt, pants. Oh. Isn't that great? Yeah, that might... Like a belt? That might be nice. Do you have a boyfriend? Uh, well, let me ask you a question. Do you think I have a boyfriend? See, this is where things get complicated. What does? What comes to my attention that basically everyone at this school thinks that you and I are, you know, what I just said. Boyfriend and girlfriend? Mm-hmm. I never thought about it like that. It's coming out of left field for me, too. So, what do we do? Let me put something on the table. We can go with it. You'd be my boyfriend. I'm just putting it on the table. Well, do you want to be my boyfriend? Yeah. I think I like it, girl. There ain't no other girl like it, girl. Baby girl, there's something I've been meaning to say, and I can't keep it inside another day, yeah. Smell is one more than a month of May, and you give me butterflies when you walk my way. I get nervous, my heart skips a beat, and I think it's time that we should meet, yeah. All I dream about whenever I sleep, your name should have been Candy, cause you're so sweet, and I know you're wondering why I waited, but your style kind of had me intimidated. I guess that's why I hesitate. Hated, but if we get together, then I know we will make it, girl. I had to tell you that I like you. I hope you feel the same way that I do. For you, there's nothing that I won't do. To the top of the world is where I go for you, yeah. I think I like it, girl. There ain't no other girl like it, girl. I think I like it, girl. There ain't no other girl like it, girl. Good luck on your interview. Thanks. You want to come over and listen to it tomorrow night? Sure, sounds good. Bro, I gotta ask you something. And I don't want you to take this the wrong way. Okay, what's up? Do you like having me as a girlfriend? Yeah. I just want you to be sure. Hayden, i never been more sure about anything in my life. Well, except for this. <laughs> Alrighty then, I'll see you later. See you. Hey, Jody, you're just here to look. There's nothing wrong with the little touch.
It's just wrong. Just plain wrong. And I don't care. So even though I was only separated from my troop for 25 minutes, it was an experience that changed my life. You don't say. So, gang, we've talked about music, school, and somehow got talking about camping. So let's talk about a subject that's near and dear to my heart. Romance. Mm. My brother knows all about the ladies. So, Romeo, I know from personal experience that the music business can make the passions run high. So it's one hound to another. Brother, I gotta ask, how's it going with the ladies? The ladies? Yeah, so do you have a girlfriend or are you a player? Uh, girlfriend. No. Hear that, ladies. You know, I'm just taking it day by day. <laughs> you and me both. Think you'll ever settle down? Man, I'm having too much fun. <laughs> and the name of your new single is? It's called Making the Move. And that's what we're going to hear right now on K-Hype 93.6 FM. That was a cosmic interview. What'd you think? Any surprises? <laughs> Just one surprise. You sure you don't want one of these? No, thanks. Man, that was great. Gary, you were so cool. Oh, thanks, bro. Look, that anecdote about the time you got lost in the woods, I might have gone on a tattoo roll. Well, Hacksaw, I didn't even get to the part where I got chased by a squirrel. What's up, bro? You not feeling it? Because this interview is a real big step forward for us, man. Why'd I have to say I didn't have a girlfriend? Ah, buddy boy, listen to me. We got to use all our assets. Three young, handsome guys like you, that's a big draw for a female demographic. For real? Mm hmm? That's called wish fulfillment. Now, trust me on this one. You try one of these? Ooh, good. Well, he does make a good point about the girlfriend thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Peyton's gonna kill you. Your Sergio Giorgini is made of the finest suede in the world. Do not dry clean. Uh, wash in cold water. Clean stains with lemon water. <laughs> Lime dry. Basically, the interview went great. So I'm just gonna ask you the same things that Tyree did. So later on tonight, when you and Peyton are listening to the interview, the answers you give me now are what you'll hear. Really? Yep. I just ran an override between my board here and the attenuated diode in the back of the radio. Then I just stopped. Lou, I don't wanna hear all that. I just need to know if this will work. Dude, have I ever let you down? Recently? Guess not. All right, let's do this thing. Now, remember, I'm Tyree. So, Romeo, you got a girlfriend, or are you a player? Well, Tyree, I got a beautiful girlfriend. Her name's Peyton. Hear that, ladies? Can I give her a shout out? Hey, hey, what's up, Peyton? I see you tomorrow, girl. <laughs> so, you ever think you'll settle down? Well, you know, Tyree, I'm getting a little bit older now. Back in fifth, sixth grade, I used to be a ladies' man, you know. But ever since I met Peyton, she changed that. <laughs> mm, I like them too. 
toasty. Why are we gonna be sitting in Gary's car? Well, because the car radio was the easiest one to access. Plus, you don't need Jody or Gary crossing through while trying to pull this thing off. Privacy. Privacy's good, Chad. It's almost time. Oh, uh, we were just waiting for you. <laughs> Cream soda? <laughs> Thanks. So let's get to your radio. Oh, I, uh, I thought we should listen in Gary's car. You know, a little privacy. Well, yeah, that's a great idea for you, too. Real good. But, uh, I'm gonna go listen to my room. See you guys later. Yesterday, I had the pleasure of sitting down with a slam in you group, The Romeo Show. Let's hear what they had to say. It's on! So, gang, we've talked about music and school and somehow got talking about camping. This is so cool, Ro. So let's talk about better. a subject that's near and dear to my heart. Romance. My brother knows all about the ladies. So, Romeo, I know from personal experience that the music business can make a passion. The ladies? Yeah, so do you have a girlfriend or are you a player? Well, Tyree, I got a beautiful girlfriend. Her name is Peyton. Ah, room with the radio! Can I give her a shout out? Hey, what's, what's up, Peyton? The I'll see you tomorrow, oh, girl. Uh, Nothing. Just keep listening. <laughs> you hear that, ladies? You know, I'm just taking it day by day. <laughs> so, you never told me what you wore. Um, <laughs> we need to talk about that. Could you quiet this thing down, man? Look, dude, I'm trying. Do you need some air? Hurry up. Man, you're making me nervous. Let me figure it out. Ugh. There. <sighs> Why are there wires coming from the garage into Gary's car? That's a good question. Whoa. <laughs> we were just listening around with the radio. Nothing serious. <laughs> Excuse me? Well, you know, I just connected the attenuator diode to the transistor port in the back of the Save sending. It. I'm on my way to Dolly's Donuts for a box of jelly and chocolate sprinkles, not a care in the world. And then I come upon this. Alarms blazing, wires out the wazoo. It's pretty fishy. You want to tell me who owns this car? My little brother. Your little brother. Uh, excuse me, officer. Is there some sort of problem here? Well, maybe you can tell me. You want to tell me who owns this car? He does. I don't like the looks of this. I really don't. Oh, no. Is Gary wearing my Giorgini? Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. I'll explain. Look, officer, it's all my fault. I didn't want my girlfriend to find out what I really said on the radio. So try to hook up a private broadcast. What? Well, you know, like I said, I just connect the attenuator diode to the transistor board and then the car. Two the ray. Dispatch. Please respond to a 511 at the corner of Nelson and 3rd. Copy that. Looks like the situation's under control. 
Y'all have a nice day. But I might want to foul charges. Sorry. I got a 5 to deal with. Oh, see, I know what I did wrong. I should have connected the grounding wire to the... Oh. Quiet. Okay. Terrible about the outfit. Terrible because you ruined it, or terrible because you didn't tell me before you wore it? Both. Well, as for not telling me, don't ever let it happen again. And you know we're gonna have to talk more about this later. As for ruining it, I don't know. I guess if I loved it all that much, I would have worn it more often. I just couldn't help myself. Mm hmm. Hey, Aunt. These threads come with a lid? A what? A lid. A hat. A hat will make these threads even more styling. <laughs> well, you do have a little Austin Powers kind of thing going on. Oh, behind. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Gary, I don't have a hat. I'm sorry. Mind if I go up to your closet and have a peek around? Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I got a feeling that outfit's gonna get a lot of use. Yeah. And the whole thing was stupid anyway, because you probably would have found out what I said at school. That's true. So, are you mad? No. Not really. It's just, Romeo, I don't want to be your girlfriend anymore. I get it. I don't blame you. No. You don't get it. What happened on the radio doesn't change the way I feel about you. It's just, ever since we started calling each other boyfriend and girlfriend, it hasn't been right. I like the way it was before. Okay. But let me ask you something. What if I did something like this? That's okay. Just don't call me your girlfriend. Go short, it's your birthday. We gon' party like it's your birthday. Simon says stop, but wrong said go. I'm the first hip hop kid with my own TV show. Woo! Every book dance to shake it like that. You do it good in school, work it like that. You love Romeo, holla back, cuz Nickelodeon's where I'm at. Okay. Hey, go, watch the flow. It's time for the Romeo show, holla Romeo.